Hello YouTube, how's everybody? It's Dee Dee Blast, the Black Madonna, Dee Dee Blast SoundCloud. Uh, yes, I have some news here. Um, yeah, I wanted to start off uh, with uh, Young Buck. Uh, Young Buck uh, claims that uh, him and 50 Cent, uh, their beef uh, was fake. Um, and he said that uh, he done played our motherfucking asses, okay? Now, um, for one thing, I really don't care about G-Unit, and I really don't like 50 Cent at all. I never made any bones about it. Uh, I think Young Buck is lying. I think what it is, they realize that they need each other. And uh, 50 uh, bowing down a little bit, because you do need Buck. Because Tony Yayo and um, what's his name? Um, Banks, they not going to hold you down like that as far as music. Young Buck is the closest one. He's the best one. He's the better of the rappers of the entire G-Unit clique. So, do y'all believe that? I don't. I believe that shit was real. I believe 50 Cent is realizing that if you want to get back in the game, you need Buck. So, they came up with a story <clears throat> to tell us, you know, that they was just bullshitting. And um, I guess the, the trans, uh, it wasn't true either. See, I don't judge uh, Young Buck for being gay, for messing with tranny, Danny Trannies. I don't blame him for that. I don't uh, judge him for that. Everybody sleep with who you want to sleep with, you know, as long as it's consent. You know, it's all right. Uh, but... um I hate how, like, when I was saying the other day, I didn't really get a chance to finish. I was saying that it pisses me off, you know, that everybody got to do the homosexual rituals. That that doesn't piss me off. What pissed me off is that you, yourself, is doing rituals. In order for you to be here on this camera and all around here, you was, you on it. <laughs> you on it. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Don't try to call other people out. For being gay when everybody, male or female, has to do those rituals. And that's everybody. Nobody's special. So, um, uh, 50 Cent, I think you realizing that Buck was the best and that without him, G-Unit ain't touring nowhere. <laughs> so that's good, 50 Cent. That's good for you to understand and realize that you do need young Buck. Y'all beef is real. Trust Okay, uh, now police are seeking uh, the public uh, help. Um, she, I'm sorry, uh, police are uh, seeking uh, the public's help in locating a Massachusetts woman uh, who had been missing uh, for nearly a year now. Uh, she's 43 years old. Uh, she's a homeless woman. Uh, she was known uh, to spend time in uh, Central Square in the area uh, near uh, Cambridge. Okay, uh, she's 5'3", and she's 135 pounds, and her family hasn't seen her uh, since about a year now. So hopefully they locate her. Okay, now a mother uh, was found dead with her 12-year-old daughter, uh, both dead, um, at their home in Shrewberry. Okay, police are investigating both murders. Uh, the mom was 49 years old, okay? So it's going to be an investigation on whatever happened to the lady and her poor 12-year-old daughter. Okay, yeah, uh, now uh, 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 there's a, a story here that I must report. It's a story here that I feel is worthy of reporting. It's important, you know. Uh, so uh, when I report uh, things about the police officers, uh, not all the police officers are white. There's some uh, black police officers that do wrong and, and, and do things and think they can get away with it. The way they speak to you, talk to you, disrespect you. That's how I end up fighting with the cops, you know, being disrespectful and not listening to me, listening to them dumb hoes, not listening to me. I'm, I'm the one that's being fucked with. I'm the one whose children gets fucked with coming out of the building. They calling my kids names and things like that. Silly shit, you know. So that's how I end up fighting with the cops. You understand what I'm saying? And one of those cops that I punched in the mouth, he was black. And when I punched him in his mouth, he said, why you punch me? I said, because you're standing here and letting this go down and you ain't saying shit. See, that, that it's nothing against me with the police because, like I said, I've met nice police, you know. Uh, the night that uh, I was kicked in my pregnant belly, um, the police was very helpful, very nice. They were they were concerned. They, they were searching for them hoes and they found them, too. So the, the deal is, is that it's a good cop that's good and it's a bad cop that's bad. All right. So unfortunately, this story that I'm about to report is very long, but it's worthy of listening to. OK, so here we are. All right. Now, two racist uh, police officers in Florida uh, filed a false report against a Latino man after assaulting him. 
Okay, two racist officers uh, lied on their police report uh, when they accused uh, Chris Cordero. Uh, he's 37 years old. They accused Chris of attacking them. Cordero uh, was driving to get medicine for his son. He was in a hurry, and he had noticed that the police had been following him for a little while. So he stopped, and he asked, you know, is there a problem? Is something wrong? So um, um, he was like, well, this is what happened. He got out the car. And they handcuffed him. And when they handcuffed him, that's when they threw a sucker punch, chipping his tooth. Yep, they hit him so hard that it, it chipped his tooth. Okay, now another police officer came, and they both began to beat um, Cordero uh, while he was on the ground, and he was handcuffed. Okay, Officer Worley called him a spick nigger, uh, a piece of shit, and he told him, go back to New York. Officer Colt. Black, isn't that something? This officer's last name is Black. Colt Black, he admitted uh, to, uh, you know, um, giving Cordero a, a small elbow to the side of his head because he believed Cordero was reaching for a weapon. Okay, but he was handcuffed, so how could he reach for a weapon? Okay, uh, they charged Cordero. He was 37 uh, with resisting arrest, assault on a law office, on an on enforcement officer, and making a death threat uh, to a law enforcement officer. The charges could have, uh, the, the charges that they put on him uh, could have led to many, many, many years in prison. Cordero uh, asked the neighborhood once he was uh, released, and he had asked uh, the neighborhood, he was knocking on doors, asking uh, people, do they have a surveillance uh, tape um, that he could probably use to find out what happened that night. So uh, as he went through the neighborhood, he found someone, they had the tape. Uh, so they showed uh, the surveillance, and uh, it showed really what happened. Okay, uh, does the footage, uh, they walked up uh, to Cordero and uh, started to beat him. Okay. All right. Now the charges are, were dropped against uh, Cordero. Both officers have, uh, uh, you know, issues with power and control, and they like to target people who wouldn't be believed. Okay. The weak. Uh, Officer Colt Black uh, resigned. Officer um, Travis Worley uh, is on administrative leave. Uh, they have a history of other complaints complaining of these same two officers' uh, blatant racism and uh, excessive force. Okay. All right, now, uh, 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 a, a black uh, policewoman uh, says the officer Worley used racial slurs while on call, uh, a, a claim he denied. He later tried to get that woman fired. Uh, if she continues to work here, the more of a chance uh, she will have a, have a chance to harm good officers and their families. Okay, another complaint uh, came in on, on, by the school principal. Uh, he had uh, he heard uh, Worley uh, using uh, racial slurs towards the children, and uh, the principal said that he isn't uh, uh, a great officer uh, like the rest of the officers. Okay, um, okay. Now, uh, despite the multiple complaints surrounding uh, him, Officer Worley, uh, uh, all, always uh, the police department uh, cleared Officer Worley of wrongdoing. Um, through, through the years, uh, people have been complaining about Officer Worley. Okay, so they have accused him of wrongdoing. Okay, now he was even, he was even, uh, listen, they cleared him of this. They always do. This is not the first complaint. Uh, he was even named officer of the year in 2019. So how many more people are sitting uh, in jail uh, 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 with his word and his police reports? Might be some innocent people in jail. Uh, WFTS uh, says that the neighborhood is scared they're scared to come out, and they're scared to come forward. They're scared to come forward on this particular officer, okay? So, um, um, yeah, so he's on administrative leave. He's not, uh, uh, you know, uh, he's not getting reprimanded, and, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, suspended without pay. Um, and maybe you're fired, you know, but no, they keep clearing him. So right now he's on administrative leave, and he it was clear. The video showed everything. If I was Cordero, I would get me a fucking lawyer, and I would sue that police department all the way. I would sue their ass all the way. I would clean up on their asses because... They made a false report. The lieutenant, the captain, had to know about it. Who do, who put him on administrative leave? They had to know about it. So this is it. That's it for Cordero, a chipped tooth, being beat up and embarrassed and, and being treated and, 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 and being assaulted. And then that's it. That's it. Hmm. Okay.
Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Now, authorities are investigating a fatal shooting in Charleston. A man was found dead uh, in Charles in his Charleston home. Uh, we have no information on what happened right now. Uh, the police are, uh, you know, they're asking the public uh, for help, you know, because they don't know uh, what what happened. Like, well, who killed these people, you know? So it, it, it's sad, you know, but uh, hopefully uh, they'll find out uh, what happened and whoever is the culprit uh, can get, you know, um, charged with that. that. That's very bad. Okay, now a transit police officer sergeant wants to get paid uh, for the time uh, he was suspended for a criminal charge that he was eventually dropped, that was eventually dropped. Uh, he had uh, knowledge of another uh, cop uh, beating up a homeless man. So Kenny Orsell was indicted in March 2019, making a false report. Okay. So um, I'm not sure what they're going to do with him, but uh, he's asking uh, for money, um, you know, for his time off that he, you know, he feels that he needs to get paid uh, for the time that they had him off. So I'm not sure basically, you know, what they're going to do about it or anything, you know, just basically that uh, his name is Kenny Orsell. Uh, he was indicted in March uh, for making a false police report to help another cop who had uh, wrongly uh, beat up a uh, um, a homeless man. Okay. All right. Now, um, this is it uh, for the news for tonight. And um, everyone, enjoy your evening. I plan to uh, have some things that I want to get done. And I'm going to do that. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow night uh, for some news. Okay. All right. Everyone, have a nice evening. Thank you for listening to the news. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Good night.